Little Giant Boxing. Eddie, real quick, how were those conversations like with Deontay Wilder? He was all chummy with you. You guys took a picture. He yeah, said, no, it's good. Like, I think the problem is, you know, boxing media and like the headlines and stuff like that. One liners and headlines are taken out of context. I mean, we definitely didn't uh, agree with a lot of stuff over the last few years. Um, but, you know, I back myself that if you sit down with me and have a chat, by the end of it, you'll go, he's okay, really. And I think hopefully that's what Deontay did. We're all moving in the same direction. We know what we want. Obviously, he's got his fight scheduled in December 23rd. He's happy. So let's hope he gets the business done and AJ gets the business done and we'll see what happens. How exciting is it that you guys are one step away from a mega fight, Wilder versus Joshua? Yeah, Lee. cool. So that everybody wants. I think it's the biggest. You know, if those guys both win on December 23rd, I think it's the biggest fight in boxing. So uh, we shall see. And uh, yeah, looking forward to 23rd. What did Joshua tell you about that fight? Obviously, he wants that fight. But... Fight anybody. Yeah, throughout his whole career, he's boxed everybody. Mandatory challenges. Unified champions, world champions, Alexander Usyk twice back to back. You know, he he's, has no problem fighting anyone. He wants the biggest fights, but he's got to get through Otto while in first. What do you think Usyk's thinking right now? I mean, Tyson Fury after that, you know, really bad, bad like bad fight he mm. had with uh, Ngano. Yeah, Fury will believe in himself. He always does, you know. But um, that's a tough fight for both guys. I do think, you know, I felt like Fury was the favourite before Ngano. I think he's still the favourite. Um, but yeah, it's a great fight. Eddie, obviously, Canelo has two more fights with Showtime, and then after that, I'm sure you would love to work with him. Has there been any like conversations or? Not really, only socially, really, with us. You know, he's got his future locked in for now. Um, if we have the fights for him, I'm sure he'll be back. If not, you know, I don't know how long he'll fight for, but we'll see what happens with Benavidez against Andre next week, and uh, you know, I'm sure he'll be back soon. Eddie, what do you make of your two buddies, Canelo and Canelo and Conor McGregor, going at it? On social media yeah I'll, you know conor mcgregor's great i talk to him a lot about fights he's very passionate about it and canelo's never going to back down from anyone so all right lastly anything you want to leave us with about this card or any future endeavors yeah you, so, you know we've got a huge run coming up but i like this card on saturday i think diego pacheco for me you know he's a standout guy at 168 pound i think he's got a massive future ahead of him um and also you know check out the co-main event maylene rivas against erica cruz going to be an absolute war how your fires in a really tough fight. Mark Castro steps up over 10 rounds. Good night at boxing in Los Angeles. And we'll see you there. And don't forget next week, the big rematch. Chantel Cameron against Katie Taylor in Dublin for the Undisputed Championship. Thank you, Eddie. Appreciate Cheers, your time. Mate. Thank you.